What's up, Michael here from Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to duplicate a page in Webflow, and then also how to customize components, so things like nav bars, specific to that landing page. So say, for example, you create a landing page, it's duplicated, it's duplicated off of your homepage, but you want to change, let's say, the link for your button in your nav bar, or you wanna change any other component, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So if you want to duplicate a page, all you have to do is go to your pages panel and then the page you want to duplicate, just select the settings or click on the settings icon. And then from here, you want to click on this duplicate page button. We're going to click on that and that is going to open up our new page settings. So we can name this anything we want. So I'm going to just call this landing page. And then here you can also change your title tag and meta description for the SEO settings. And then you also have your open graph description and title. Just leave these check marked to your title tag and meta description unless you really need to change these custom. These basically is how what will show up if you share this page to social media. Most oftentimes the SEO description and title is better than is, is perfect um, and then you have your open graph image URL this is basically if I remove this it removed that image up here basically whatever image this is is the image that will show if someone shares your this page to social media so once you have all these page all these settings set you can hit create page and it will automatically take you to your duplicated page. You can see up here under page, I'm on our landing page we just created and everything looks the exact same. Now in terms of editing your duplicate page, as long as you're editing content, so removing words and stuff, um, everything, you don't have to worry about it changing on your other page. However, if you are changing styles, you want to make sure that um, whatever styles you change here, they will also apply to that in first page if they're connected with the same class. For example, I have this for this head, this text right here, number one task management platform. We have some classes applied, text color dark, text weight semi bold. As you can see, it says right here, six are on this page and six are on other pages. So what this basically means is there are six elements on this page and six elements on other pages that all have the same class. So if I were to go start changing the styles, it would automatically change those elements as well. So a quick fix to this is all you have to do is um, create a, co um, a combo class. So we can call this landing page. You can name this anything you want. And now you can see it says one on this page. So now if we were to change this, the style of this element, it would only apply to this element. So keep that in mind when making style changes to a page. The next thing is our nav bars and footers, and this applies to any component. So as you can see, I hovered over this, it's green. That is because it is a component and this, technique that I'm going to show you this applies to any component it doesn't matter if it's a footer or if it's a nav bar so say you want to remove this features link or you want to remove any link really all you have to do is double click into your component select the link and then we want to go to our settings panel and then you can see under each of these settings we have these little purple dots this is every place where we can set a custom property so for example, if you want to hide this link, we want to set a custom visibility property. So we're gonna create plus, we're gonna create and connect a new property. We're just gonna name this um, nav link. We're gonna create that property. And now if we click out of our component, you can see if I hover or if I click on this component, it now has a green dotted line around it. That means I can now select this and I can hide it. And as you can see, it hid that link, but it did not affect any of the other links. If I were to go back to our homepage, the page we duplicated this page from, our features link is still there. So it only affects 
the page that you're on. So if I go back to our landing page, you can see the, um, that one link is gone now. We can actually apply any of these other links to that same property and we can affect those as well. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna select um, create a visibility or under visibility, I'm going to click the plus icon and instead of creating a new property, I'm just gonna select the one we already created, nav link. And you can see and now hid both of those which is uh, really cool, exactly what we wanted. And using these custom properties feature, you can connect additional properties to this. So for example, this sign up button, say for example, on this landing page, we wanted the sign up button to link to another page. We didn't want it to link to the same page that our homepage is linking to. We can create a custom property for our link right here. So we're gonna hit connect to a property. We're going to create and connect a new property. We're going to call this nav button link. We're going to create that property. And then if I select this button, you can see we have nav link. So I'm going to just link this to apple.com. So HTTPS www.apple.com. And I'm going to make it where it opens in a new tab really quickly. If I were to click on this link, you can see it would take me to the apple.com, but I had the link wrong, but it is going to take me to that custom link I set. However, if I go back to the home page, this button, it doesn't do anything. It wasn't connected to a link in the first place, but it doesn't take us to apple.com because we did not set this button to that custom link. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll see if I can get back to you. Also, we do offer Webflow consulting for people who they have questions about Webflow. You can hop on a one hour call with myself and we'd go over any questions you have and try to turn you into a Webflow pro. And for companies who need Webflow help, we do offer unlimited Webflow subscriptions. There'll be links to all that in the description below.